Hi everyone and welcome to Math Sucks. This video is going to help you pass geometry. In this video we're going to look at how to construct the altitudes of a triangle by looking at how to construct the altitudes of an acute triangle, an obtuse triangle, and a right triangle. So let's do this one triangle at a time. Here is our acute triangle. So we're going to need our compass and a straight edge. So our acute triangle, that's just a triangle that's has angles that are less than 90 degrees. So let's say this is our vertex over here. So before we begin, just to review what an altitude means. An altitude is a perpendicular line drawn from the vertex of a triangle to the opposite side, creating a 90 degree angle. So if we're saying that this is our vertex, we're just going to open our compass up and make sure that we intersect this line here. Notice we intersect it right here and right here. So now we're going to open up our compass a little more than the distance that it, it touches down again. So about here, and we're just gonna swing above and below. And we're gonna keep this same distance and bring this to the other side, this point to the other side, and then just swing above and below. Now we're going to take our straight edge, our ruler, and notice we have these two points here. Really we have three points, right? Because we want to connect it back to that original vertex. And we're just going to draw a line here. And it's an altitude that we just drew. So this is going to be a 90 degree angle right here. So that's how to draw an altitude of an acute triangle. So just for fun, let's find, let's keep going, let's find the altitude from the other two angles. So let's look at the altitude from this point over here. So we're just gonna do the same thing, put our point to the, the vertex, and then swing, make sure it's at a good length, and swing our compass, and we get two points here and here. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to go above and below, keeping the same distance. We're going to go above and below. And then we're going to connect our dots, our three dots. And then this right here is the altitude to this side. The last vertex we want to try is going to be this guy right here. So we're going to find, we're going to create a perpendicular line from this angle. So again, we're just gonna open our compass and give it a little swirl. Notice it hits here and here. same distance, go above and below, and then connect our three dots. Notice that all three, and then this is our perpendicular line here, notice all three altitudes end up in the center, uh, intersecting at one point this is called the orthocenter, which is the point where all three altitudes of a triangle intersect. Now we're going to construct the altitude of an obtuse triangle. So this is kind of like the tricky one that really isn't bad if you know what to do, but you gotta know what to do. So remember an obtuse triangle, it's a triangle that has an angle that is greater than 90 degrees. So if we were to find the perpendicular line to this vertex right here, the altitude. This would be pretty easy. This would be very similar to the acute triangle. So let's just do that. So we get our little arch and then it intersects it two times right here. And then we're gonna go past this other point, go above the triangle and 
below the triangle and then we're going to bring our point to the other side and just do the same thing above and below and notice we get um, what we're used to these three points that we can now intersect to find the altitude so we'll connect them and we get our altitude, our perpendicular line. But what about the other two? How would we do those? So this is where it gets tricky. So now we want to intersect this line here two times, right? But notice we can only do it one time. So in order to intersect it two times, we're just gonna extend this line so until it does. So I'm just gonna draw a dotted line and now we're going to have two intersections here. So now we'll just do the same thing. We'll go below and above. And then we're going to keep the same distance and then go above and below again. Now we'll take our straight edge and connect all our dots draw a line and then this is our altitude. So that is how we draw an altitude of an obtuse triangle. So a little bit tricky but as long as you know to extend that line you should be good to go. So our last one is easy again. So the, the only tricky one is the, that obtuse triangle. So the last one we're gonna construct uh, an altitude of a right triangle. So this is nice and easy. So the same exact way we did the acute triangle, we're gonna do the same thing here. Just make a swirl. Take note, we're saying that this is our vertex. And we have our points of intersection. Now we're gonna open up our compass, go above, go below, keep that same distance, go above, and go below. And now we'll just connect our dots. And we get our altitude right here. You can also, another little tip, if you ever don't feel confident in your construction, you can always check it with a protractor. So you can line this up and see if this is 90 degrees. And yeah, it lines up with the 90 degree mark. So we're good. So I hope this video helped you. If you liked it, please give a like and subscribe. Thanks so much for stopping by and happy calculating. Need more practice? Check out mathsucks.org for more questions. Link below. Also, don't forget to subscribe. Happy calculating.